the beauty of working at Adult Ed was always that always very happy because everybody, students and teachers and staff, were all there because they wanted to be. So it was a totally positive experience. It was just a wonderful place to be. When I took over, psychology was the big thing. And uh, how-to classes also. And it just expanded. I think I was the first person to start holding Saturday classes because we didn't have enough room in the facilities uh, for classes morning, afternoon, night. Then after I started Mind Super Mind, I would I would pick a person I'd read about, and I'd go to the bookstore and look in the index for topics that they were interested in. Then I would write them. This was before <laughs> computers. And so I would type a letter, or mostly cold phone calls, which to this day scare me to death. <laughs> the Saturday Review magazine. And the whole magazine was dedicated to the title, Mind and Supermind, Expanding the Limits of Consciousness. And so I started looking at who had written articles for that issue, and I started calling them, and that just led to more. The first speaker that I had um, asked to come was someone I'd read about who lived in San Francisco. And the night, the Monday that he was supposed to be here, it was foggy and his plane couldn't land. And I thought, what am I going to do now? Fortunately, our moderator for this series, the person up on the stage with the speaker, was scheduled to speak, to be the third speaker in, it was al almost always four speakers, four different weeks. And uh, it was Bishop Edward Crowther who was scheduled to speak on dreams. And he was the moderator, so I called him and said, can you possibly speak tonight? Well, he was best extemporaneously. He sent his wife to go get some notes, and she rushed back and got the notes to him, and he was fabulous. And the third speaker, who I had thought would be the best, I'm trying to remember, what the topic was. It was intriguing anyway. He turned out to be awful. If he had been the first speaker, it would have been over. What I loved was playing hostess to the mind, super mind speakers that I invited. And I was and there came a time when I began to wonder what the people at the airport mm -hmm. would think when I show up there on a Monday morning and pick up 
a speaker, usually a man, mm -hmm. and come back the next day with the same man mm -hmm. <laughs> and put him on the plane. But it, it was so much fun getting to know these people. It was such a privilege. I couldn't believe how blessed I was with that job.